Hey guys, welcome to AppCode. Uh, in the last tutorial uh, on our unit testing series, we uh, wrote this math helper class and the factorial method, and we uh, tested that method by using uh, TDD approach and uh, several uh, assertions, right? So in this tutorial, what I'm going to do is uh, get the coverage of the uh, unit test right uh, uh, that means uh, in our unit test we have covered this each of line and each of conditions right so uh, uh, unit test coverage is something uh, that we can quantify uh, how much of the code source code we have covered using our unit test right so uh, if it is above uh, like say uh, 85 uh, we can uh, assure that our unit our code is uh, fully covered and it's more robust and uh, less of errors right so uh, first I'm using IntelliJ inbuilt code coverage in tool and next I'll be uh, using Jacoco uh, which is another uh, plugin or the or the implementation that we can use for uh, do the unit test or the uh, any kind of test coverage right so uh, let's run this one uh, this test using uh, IntelliJ inbuilt code coverage right so I uh, click this uh, play button and use run factorial test with coverage or else we can run this whole class using coverage by clicking the play button in the class right run math helper test with coverage right so it creates this uh, configuration for the run configuration with different different uh, options and uh, it uses inbuilt IntelliJ coveraging uh, code coverage run right so uh, right so now the test is running and we got the uh, results right so if we go to this math helper class and we can see these uh, green lines right so if you can't see it uh, click it and press settings and for the uh, we can uh, change the colors to the full partial or uncovered by clicking this uh, icon right uh, a color so i'll make it more greener right and make the partial coverage more yellowish and i'll make these uncovered lines more reddish right so that's it right so now we can see this uh, yellow cover uh, green uh, that means that uh, our unit test covered all these lines right so uh, in this side we can uh, ha get a coverage panel uh, where we can see the individual classes of the package level coverage right so now i'm going to change this uh, coverage mechanism code coverage into jacoco and uh, apply and okay then run it again with code coverage right so again the test is running and okay so uh, we got some error because i'm using java uh, 13 so it's something with the java 13 setup right so i'll just change it to uh, stk 8 and run it again so we shouldn't get any errors with the java 8 but again we need maybe we may have to change the uh, release into 8 otherwise it may complain that we can't have the test right so okay so let's import it again okay now we can actually uh, run it again so we can press this uh, replace active suits and get the coverage right so in the jacoco what we uh, get uh, something extra to the line coverage is branch coverage right so that means that if we have this 
kind of uh, hip failures uh, there is actually four uh, possible scenarios where i is not equal and uh, not equal to 0 and i is not equal to 1 and uh, likewise uh, the logical combinations right so uh, in using jacoco coverage tool we can get that one also so uh, if we go to panel and see this coverage we get branch coverage as well right so now let's uh, use jacoco plugin uh, to do the uh, coverage using maven so we can run the uh, test using maven and get the coverage report as in html or some other format so in this tutorial i'm using a html uh, report generating html report so let's do that okay guys so uh, now i'm in jacoco uh, website jacoco.org and let's go to jacoco section and um, uh, and uh, let's go to the documentation and see what we have to uh, use uh, the maven plugin right so we need to uh, use this plugin section and let's have this copied and we need to paste it in the plugin section right now uh, the latest version is actually at the 8.5 and uh, okay so let's import that one and we need to configure the prepare agent uh, goal right and we need to bind this uh, report uh, generation after the uh, indication tests right so that's the uh, last phase of the uh, testing right okay guys so uh, now it's almost done uh, and let's let's run uh, the sync and execute the maven command so uh, we need to run maven clean install and site okay guys so let's run this again but uh, make sure to change the uh, version back to 13 otherwise uh, release 13 uh, from the uh, compile plugin won't work right so let's run the uh, maven clean install and site goals right so uh, you may get uh, some errors uh, using um, by the site plugin uh, that's because uh, it doesn't support the latest versions of the java right so we, uh, we got this kind of error uh, using something uh, something like a site render document content something something is missing right so to that we need to uh, update the maven uh, site plugin and also we need to uh, add a reporting plugin also okay now all it's good let's import the things something i have changed here because uh, the version uh, i have changed it to uh, 3.7.1 otherwise that uh, earlier one is not resolving correctly right so now uh, we can actually run the goal uh, what we have to do is double click uh, control button and uh, earlier i have used this uh, command even clean install site okay guys so uh, we have uh, executed the command uh, successfully right so now in the uh, target directory we have something called jacoco.x uh, xx so this is the file that contains all the uh, uh, class uh, coverage data right so if you don't have this one created that means you won't get the report correctly right so basically uh, empty report right so in the site directory we should have a uh, 
folder called jaco right so in that one we have this index.html file where we can open it using IntelliJ open in browser uh, functional right so let's open that one okay so uh, I have got this uh, red thing because it doesn't get coverage data correctly right so I think it's uh, something with this uh, plugin execution section so let me check that one okay guys so that's because we have used the inbuilt and bundled uh, maven surefire plugin we need to update that one also right so let's update the P uh, surefire plugin because basically uh, surefire uh, the bundle plugin with maven 3 and 3.5 uh, it's not supported to jacoco coverage and uh, that's the reason behind the we getting uh, empty coverage right so let's uh, run the command again okay guys so we got that uh, thing correctly right so let's open the report now we should get uh, it completely 100% covered okay so now we got this uh, coverage tool for per package and we have this missed instruction uh, that means uh, how many instruction we have missed right uh, and the missed branches it means if we have if block uh, and several logical and o -O operations inside the if uh, how many of that branches are missed is listed here right so next the coverage the coverage as a percentage and we have next uh, the missed lines and uh, I don't know actually what is the cxty means if um, uh, have a look at uh, the documentation and you can get it uh, so then missed lines and uh, missed methods and classes right so let's open the package and we have this uh, class level explanation right so if we click this math, math helper and we can get the uh, method level explanation or the coverage data and if we press math help uh, so basically we have the coverage data uh, in the class level uh, the yellow uh, the green uh, green lines are all covered and red lines are not uh, because uh, this is a static class and it doesn't have a constructor we get this red uh, line because for the uh, constructor we haven't used the math helper class uh, directly right so if we go to this uh, uh, green diamond uh, it says all two branches covered and if go if we go to this all uh, all four branches covered right so let's change something uh, in the test and uh, verify that uh, our branches are not getting uh, covered properly right so right i get uh, saved it and let's run it again okay build success now let's synchronize and open this again okay so now we got a uh, lesser coverage and let's go to the class and now you can see this uh, yellow line uh, and it says one of four branches missed right so there's a four branch but uh, one branch of that is missing so that's how you can get the idea about uh, how much code have covered uh, from your unit test right so this is the uh, this is uh, it about for the this tutorial and um, if you haven't watched the first one uh, it is in the description section and watch that one also right so if you have uh, got something out of this tutorial uh, please click like and do subscribe for our channel and stay tuned for our next tutorials so if you have something in mind please put it in the comment section so thanks for watching 
बाय बाय